Oh, this is so hard. Hey, William has no chill. He just does not want to get up. He's always sleeping. Always sleeping. Him and Kevin. You know, yeah, him and Kevin are always sleeping. I do feel sad though, like I don't want William to feel, I don't want him to be hurt. He is going to be because, and this is what I think, Kevin's not a bad person. No. He just doesn't feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I, I think he does care about him, mm -hmm. but he cares about the fact that William cares about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's not about that life, trust me. First hand, Kevin with William. And I've seen first hand Kevin with William. Yeah. And it is not even close. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Like, I've seen it. It's not close. I keep telling him, like, I don't know what else to do. And then when he comes to me, it like, not that it bothers me, but it, it makes me feel some, some way. I'm just like, I don't know.
Can you hear somebody's eating cereal? Can you hear it all the way up here? I can hear it clacking. This is black, maybe. Like oh. people are indignant enough to eat cereal in front of us. <laughs> Seriously. You know, they don't want to eat. I don't, they don't, I know, they don't. Ugh. They don't know. They don't know. But I need coffee, so I have to go down there. Oh, you're going to see the cereal. Huh? You're going to see the cereal. I don't even like cold dry cereal. At this point, I, I, I'll, I'll eat the cereal for the whole day. I'll, I'll take cereal at this point for the whole day. I ate it when we were new in here, and that was like nothing else to eat. I eat it once in a blue moon, too, just to mm -hmm. kind of, it's easy, it's fast, you know. I'm trying to color my hair. <sighs> is it black? At least it's dark. It doesn't show that much. It doesn't, I know. Because this is dried out, I think. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah, it's not showing much. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do for me. I don't, because... He's not lying. I've seen it. He has TP shirts. He has her in his room. Like, it's not, it's not the same. It's not. But I'm not saying, I think at first I thought he was trying to protect his image. And now I feel like he likes the fact that William wants to protect him so much. And that's attractive him to William. But in a more caring, mm -hmm. about someone mm -hmm. kind of way and not romantically. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. because I do care about William. So when he talks his friends and says that he felt like degraded, it's like, this is the thing. Like, because he feels that way, because he feels degraded, doesn't mean he couldn't degrade him. Yeah. It means he told the truth. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Like, yeah. my, it means he was honest with his feelings. Yeah. Degrading is more like a guy speaking about women in a certain way yeah. or women speaking about guy in a certain way, yeah. or a guy speaking about a guy in a certain way, mm -hmm. or telling or saying that, no, it's not comparable. That's mm -hmm. not degrading. Yeah. He might feel that way, yeah. but he was just being honest. Yeah. Because I've sometimes Dre, I've seen it. please fix your microphone. Yeah. Oh, just, and just towels over it. Um, he, he really, it's not Kevin's fault. Williams never had a boyfriend before. Yeah. It's not Kevin's fault that William is, he, the boy is in love. I'm not just saying that to be funny. Mm. I could see it on him. I see it on him. Yeah. I see it all over him. So, that's not Kevin's fault. He's being very honest. And I think, um, at first I was like, oh, Kevin's doing this for his image. Kevin doing this for his image. Right now, I feel like Kevin does. How could you not care about someone who wants to protect you so much? Yeah. He does care about you. Yeah. He does. But not in that way. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I don't think he's using his sexuality on William because 
if they're in the house and they're kissing and stuff like that, if I was, if I am a girl doing that with Dimitri or doing that with any guy that mm-hmm. I didn't really like that much, mm-hmm. nobody would say anything. It's because we're both doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, take out Dimitri because I actually do like it. Like, say yeah. it with a guy that's just like, okay, I'm attracted to him, I like him, but not like that. Mm-hmm. And we're flirting and kissing and stuff like that. Who's going to say anything? But it seems like because William is this kid and who's in love, da 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 like, it looks more worse on Kevin, but William is engaging it a lot, a lot, a lot, mm-hmm. a lot. And Kevin's also young. He's not like some 30-something-year-old person that's like, oh, mm-hmm. he's also young in the sense of he just wants to have fun yeah. as well. Yeah. Like he's, that's how he's thinking. But the thing is, if you're seeing that the person that you're having fun with is actually catching feelings, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And that you're but not. how do we know that Kevin has not said to William, like, I like you, but not like that. How do we know that he hasn't said that? Because when he comes down the stairs and William is there, he's going to grab his ass or hug him from yeah, behind. Yeah, he's, like, doing flirty things. Yeah. This, this is what I'm trying to say. William's not innocent. No, no. He's not innocent. No. But he is coming off that way. Yeah. Because of his boyish looks and his innocence. Yeah. But I feel like at this point, I cannot villainize Kevin anymore. Yeah. Because I don't think he's using him, and I do think he cares about him. Because how could you not? How could you not care about me when you know I'm protecting you? Mm-hmm. How could I not care about you when I know you have my back? Yeah, yeah. It's, I feel like it's that kind of care, and it's flirty yeah. in a sense of ooh, like it's cute, like okay, mm-hmm. da, 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 da. like human interactions. Yeah. So at this point, I cannot be like. Kevin's evil, Kevin's evil, Kevin's evil. Because it looks that way because he is more mature. Yeah. And he is, but he's not, he's young. Mm-hmm. Kevin's like 24 or he something. Is, yeah. Kevin, William's not that much younger than Kevin. Yeah. So why are we putting everything on Kevin? William needs some ownership in this as well. Yeah. I think because William is boyish looking, his accent, it makes him look not as well there yeah. as someone like Kevin who's well yeah. spoken yeah. holds me stuff but they're they're almost the exact same it's age. True. It's true. Yeah. And I don't I, I, I at this point, even though I don't like Kevin, I feel like I was wrong for being like he's using him, he's using mm-hmm. him. He's the exact same age. Yeah. And it's not his fault that someone is more into him than he's more he into is, him. yeah. Makes sense. You know, like, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't, I can't do that anymore. I cannot make excuses for William anymore. Yeah. It definitely makes sense. Yeah. You know, I'm going to always keep it real with you. Yeah. And before, I was seeing it that way. I was seeing yeah. it that way. But as time goes by, I, I almost kind of feel bad for Kevin. Because he's put in a situation where it's a lose lose. Like, mm-hmm. he's going to look at the bad guy every single time. Because yes. this kid, he has his accent, he doesn't speak English very well, he doesn't really know, he's innocent, he, mm-hmm. looks, he looks younger than he is. Mm-hmm. He looks fragile. Yeah. He appears to be very fragile. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like in the beginning, like, when they're like, oh, it's disgusting, it's disgusting. But remember when you were like, use your shape and form. Yeah. It's really funny. Yeah. So if he had said that in the beginning, maybe that's him being funny. Yeah. No, it's true. It's true. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I do feel a little bit bad for him in that sense because he's just being honest. Yeah. It's not like it'd be mean if he was like, Oh yeah, I care about you. I care about Peely. Did it bad to me? He's being honest. He's saying, "No, it's not even comparable. Um, it's not that girl is his best friend. That they have something very, 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 very special. That it took time to get there. He spent when he was in the house. He fell in love with her. When they left the house, they're together. They lived together. They lived together. Yeah. Like." I saw them in Niagara and when they were leaving, like apart, I'm telling you it was like a movie. Like 
oh, he was crying. She, like, you could feel it. Yeah. I don't feel it. Yeah. And he's just being honest. And if you do look, look at the situation, a lot of times it's William pushing himself onto Kevin. Yeah. Definitely. First one is okay. I think you're gonna feel good in the hot tub, Karen. I can't villainize him anymore. Yeah. At this point, because he has a, a schoolboy crush on this That's guy true. who's falling in love with him, and it's not his fault that he's not as into him. He's, it's not Kevin's fault. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine if I didn't. Imagine if he liked me so 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 so, so much, mm -hmm. and. I was like, yeah, I can like him, but it's, it's like, it's not, it's like that. Yeah. Da, da, da. Like, it, it wouldn't be my fault that he liked me. Yeah. And I still want to have fun. Like, how is that it's my true. fault? That's true. Yeah. If, like, you, see, you see what I mean? Like, yeah. you use it in like a girl and guy situation. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's taking advantage because he appears older. But he's not. Yeah. But what, two years? There's nothing. It's true. Absolutely nothing. It's true. Like, if I was William's friend, I would sit him down and tell it to him straight. I would, because when you do that, you kind of um, enable what he's doing. And I'd be like, I put it to him in a way where it's like, I wouldn't say he's not, like, because I'll be like, listen, it is not his, like, that's him being honest, and it's not his fault that you like him more than he likes you. Mm -hmm. That is called life. But I told him I was like, listen, you like him more than he does. Yeah. He already knows that I told him that, and he said no. He's like, no, and I'm like, no, he's denying it. Then. You do. I can't talk to him because he's denying everything. Like, if I say... Because that's what somebody who's freshly in love do. Yeah. They, they deny, 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 yeah. deny. I remember I was in... This is when I knew that I was in the HOH room. Mm -hmm. I did the comp. And we were all there. I think you went first for yours. I was on the bed. And he's at the very, very like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna do something. This is the bed. Mm -hmm. Kevin is right here. His head was turned like this. William is here and eggs his way over, and puts his head on Kevin's pillow. And Kevin turned around his head, and laid flat on his stomach, and. Williams, and he's like, so Kevin's like this. Mm -hmm. Williams' legs are all the way over there like that, trying to touch his legs. And to the point where he pushed himself all the way over, I'm not, it's not funny, pushed himself all the way over that there was that much room left yeah. on the bed, and he's just, and the guy cannot move. He's yeah. like, he can't move. He is laying, his head turned, the music in his ear, and you could clearly see that there is a, it's not like, it's like this, and their legs are like that. Yeah. And, you know, they're facing each other. What body language does says a lot. I think Kevin feels bad because William looks very boyish, very childlike, very playful. Mm -hmm. And he does have more of a manly Man. appearance yeah. Yeah. and in any situation he'll always look like the bad guy yeah. and that's not fair I yeah. think because William is not a child yeah. he's a 20 something year old man yeah. and so is Kevin yeah. I don't think it's fair yeah. to I don't think it's fair it's kind of like it excites me the people mm -hmm. are so because she's older, she knows how to take him. She, she knows how to use him. She knows how to do this. She knows how to do that. Uh, but I'm not doing that, mm -hmm. and that's not fair. Because mm -hmm. it will always be perceived that way. Like you are the because yeah. oh she's you know like easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yes. Bill, you got your suit on? He's impressionable. Mm -hmm. He's this, he's that, he's this, mm -hmm. he's that. And she's, I think the only thing that's probably saving me is him because he looks like. Mm -hmm. And when people see me and him, it's not when like, oh, she's cool, she's exactly. cool. She shows my personality. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's yeah. more like, oh, he's not your personality that. Yeah. Because my personality is so immature that it, it kind of goes, so people don't look at that. Yeah. But with William, he appears naive. He appears naive. Mm. He appears impressionable. He appears innocent. Yeah. He appears all these things. And Kevin appears more cool, yeah. more calm, more mature. Yeah. He appears that yeah. way. So, Kevin will always look like the bad person, and I don't think it's fair because William and Kevin, they're not that far in age. Yeah. And Kevin is not, like, he's still young. Like, yeah, he just wants to have fun. Definitely. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? And mm -hmm. the relationship that um, he had with Peely was one of a girl. This is different. Like, I think he's trying to figure himself out as well. Yeah. And I feel like I feel bad for judging whatever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he was doing because yeah. I don't think it was malicious. Yeah. I don't think it was. I think it's natural to care about someone who wants to genuinely protect you. Yeah. I think it is. And I think in the beginning, um, it's easy to be like, yes, I'm going to use my body and do this and do that because you don't know the person. Yeah. You say whatever you want. Yeah. When we were joking about, girl, use your shape. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. Like, we're, like, we're trying to be funny. Yeah. So if he said that, he's also young in his mind and mm -hmm. he's not looking at like he's praying. He looks yeah. like the prey because he appears. Looks a little bit, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So if he said that, I feel like it's, he does not mean it in he didn't. And at that yeah. time, you could say whatever you want to say. Yeah. You could say whatever you want to say. Yeah. Let's just face it. Yeah. You don't know the people. You owe them nothing. So whatever you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. And in William, the tables were turned. And William was like, I'm going to use what I got to seduce Kevin. Nobody would say anything. Nobody would. Trey, nobody would. Why? Because he looks the way he does. Yeah. And we cannot say yeah. that because... People look the way they look, and we look the way we look. They will always, because mm -hmm. it's the exact same thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can't be hypocrites. Yeah, true. And that's why I'm like telling you, because you're my girl. Like, true. We need to let it go. Like, and it's easy for us to feed into it because we don't think it. Mm -hmm. But on a human that's level, I feel. I feel like on a human level, yeah. On a real level, it's not right. Yeah. To villainize him because he's still a young guy. Mm -hmm. And it's not his fault that William is a man and looks like a child and yeah. behaves very childish. Childlike. Life, yeah. So it's not his fault. Yeah. Because even in that play, when he runs in, Joanne, Joanne, like he just appears very childlike. Mm -hmm. But he's not. He's not. Yeah. He's not. He might not be as experienced, but. We're not as experienced as Cindy. Yeah. Yeah. And Kevin is young. He's not that experienced either. He's like, he's more experienced than William. And it seems like he's way more, because he is. Yeah. But he's not. He's not. I, I, I don't know. I feel kind of, like, after looking at it from our perspective, my perspective, mm -hmm. especially in the beginning, and... Because remember when we were like, defense is this, it's offensive, and then we were looking at ourselves? Yeah. We have to look yeah. at our, yeah. I got the yeah. only case, but I still got no conditioner. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of hair conditioner in there. I don't like that green uh, stuff. I like that orange one. Do you know, I mean, do you, you probably don't use any of it? I do use the hair conditioner, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. You know the, the orange and the red one? No. All we have is that green one that's grow. I think I'll be like William. Um, you're making Kevin look bad. Yeah. 
because he is. He is because we were even buying into it mm. until I had this conversation with you just now, where we're seeing both sides. You're making a lot of If you don't, you know, like, I'm not saying that he's not entitled to his feelings, but why can't he be entitled to his feelings yeah. too? Yeah. He's yeah. entitled to feel that way. But he's entitled to feel the way he feels too, and, he's, and that's the way he feels, and there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Like, I told William, I think you like him a lot more than he likes you. And I think you're taking it to the next level where oh, he, he doesn't is. want looks, to take honestly, it. Honestly, at this point... And he's like, no, no, it's not that. No, it like, is. Well, because how you look. When he makes jokes, I know it's just jokes, but he's like, my husband, my husband. I'm like, William, you know that that kind of jokes in this game not only makes you into a bigger target, but it looks like it's real. Like, it doesn't look necessarily like a joke. Yeah. And then he says, I'm annoying. He says, okay, go away, you're but annoying. But he's annoying. He's I'm like, I'm annoying just because I tell the truth. Yeah. It's not a joke. When you say my husband, it's not a joke. He's like, you think I'm going to marry him? I'm like, no. But, but, I mean, but like, he would want to. Like, yeah. He would want to. Come no. on. He's like, yeah, but it's just a joke. I'm like, okay, it's just a joke, but there's a little bit of, like... Like, like you want it. Yeah, there's a little bit of desire in there. There's a little bit of truth in there. I know it's just a joke, but not really. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, it's a joke, but not really. And he's like, where's my man? Like, it's not necessarily a joke. I know. I think now, too, he's getting more comfortable with it and getting jealous at people being around him. Like, he's, like, being more faithful with mm -hmm. it. Like, it... I don't know, if, if he was my friend, I would definitely be like, because you're making him look bad. Yeah. Because he is. Everybody at one point in this house has said how disgusting he is. Yeah. Including myself. Yeah, yeah. I remember one I did and I was like, oh, I feel bad because now I see that Kevin, I think he's about me, whatever. Maybe they should go with home then. And then when I was like, no. Because yeah, yeah. no yeah. Will, Will, that's William's crutch, is that he is always the victim. He's always the innocent one. He's yeah. always the... Like, he's all... He's always that. Yeah. And it's, I don't know. I don't think it's... I don't think it's right. I don't. And I, I don't think it's intentionally. But it's still, it's but it's still, still wrong. wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. He's, I'm telling you, like even I was like, hey, Kevin is bad. Kevin is this. Mm -hmm. Kevin only cares about his image. Kevin, but it's not. I don't think it's true. I don't yeah. think he cares about his image. I think he's. Why wouldn't you care about somebody who wants to protect you? Like why? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Like yeah. why wouldn't you? I don't know, I feel like over time, I feel like I do feel like you. Yeah. I just didn't know what to say to you. But when he tells me things, it's not that I'm mad at Kevin or whatever. I just feel You feel bad, feel but bad. Dre. Yeah, William. I'm just like, no, I know you feel feeling. bad, but when you do that, it makes me feel like however he's feeling is okay. Yeah. Dre. Please, fix your microphone. Yeah, you can't put your sweater over it again. Yeah, like... You have to understand that. Everybody in this house has feelings. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. And... And that's why I keep it real with my friends. Like, if you're like... Who doesn't like you? Like, stop. Mm -hmm. What can I do but listen? Yeah. But you'd also have to be like, you're making him look bad. Like, that's being a good friend too. Mm -hmm. Like, you are making this person look really bad. Mm -hmm. But you're the one actually making me see that because I didn't. You didn't I didn't see it see before. It like that. I, I stopped feeling like he was using William a long time ago, but. 
when he comes to me with like how he's feeling or how hurt he is i don't know i just feel bad i'm like because i don't want him to be hurt i feel like i feel like i thought i don't know i thought kevin was only doing this for his image yeah that's what i thought like he doesn't want to look bad but i don't think so anymore i thought he was straight up just using him and then it got to a point where he was like, oh, okay, I actually care about this kid. Maybe, but who are we to judge? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But I think that the way, the reason why I didn't look at it like he's making him feel look bad is because I felt like now I see Kevin generally caring about William, so yeah. now I'm not, I'm not saying Kevin is using William. It's just like a... Like he's genuinely caring, yeah. but you're right. He is making Kevin look bad in the sense that he does make him look bad. Yeah, he does. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's as clean. They're using it to shave. I was using it to uh, shave William's hair. So I don't know how clean it is. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know what you mean. I thought so too, but I think. We visual, we've analyzed him more based on his appearance. Yeah. And that's, I wouldn't like if someone did that to me. Yeah, no, that's not right. You're getting ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? I know I'm gonna fall asleep before it for sure. Yeah, <laughs> lie yeah, down yeah. or whatever, and it's gonna get all mixed up. Maybe I'll get some more gel on mm -hmm. that. Gotta make sure you're looking for Cindy, you know? Gotta make sure I'm helping oh, you God, out. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> You're going now, do you know? Uh, they said just to get ready. appearances yeah. in this house yeah. and we know how it feels yeah so I feel like we need it can't just be like one sided yeah yeah it, it goes in many shapes and yeah. forms definitely and I'm telling you because mm -hmm. of his boyish looks definitely. and his innocent parent his innocent appearance and his demeanor and it we are also feeding into yep. the whole this person is using it based on their appearance definitely and that I want to put a stop to it yeah because it's not right because not only is he making Kevin look bad we're making him look bad too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think he's doing anything wrong. Yeah. I really, genuinely do not believe he's doing anything wrong. Yeah. Kevin's 24. He's young. 23, 24. Yeah. Really 22. A two year difference? No, sorry, he's 23, 23. Oh, so one year difference? Yeah, one year. Yeah. One year. But based on his appearance and based on just the way he looks, just the way he looks, yeah. I'm like, Kevin's an awful person. Kevin's taking advantage. Kevin doing this when he's forcing himself onto Kevin. Yeah, yeah. If William was a girl and Kevin was a guy, 
be like, oh my God, she's so annoying. She won't leave him alone. She mm-hmm. won't leave him alone. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. So I feel like we are being a little bit biased. We are. I know for sure I'm being biased because I, I obviously don't like Kevin and I like William. But at the same time, when I talk to him about, and when I try to be not biased and I talk to him, he just pushes me away. One time I told him he was too, um, he was like glued to Kevin. He was following Kevin everywhere. And he's like, no, I'm not doing that. And he didn't talk to me for like half a day because of oh that. My God. That's, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, <sighs> the problem is not Kevin. The problem is William Dre. That's what yeah. I tell you. Yeah. The problem is your little friend. Your little friend needs to sit down and relax. Yeah. It's too damn much. Yeah. He is. He is. And his whole entire, he's going to go back and regret that he made his whole entire experience here about okay. Kevin. Mm-hmm. And it's not Kevin's fault that William is doing that. Like, I am not going to blame Kevin anymore. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. William, I, at this point, I feel more bad. But why is Kevin not saying anything? I don't think Kevin knows that William feels this way. I don't think Kevin, no, not feel this way as in like likes him. Uh, about the whole PV, like the, the hot tub uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Kevin knows that William making him look this bad. I don't think he knows. Yeah. Nobody's ever told him. Yeah. We've always only been on him. Are you using William? Are yeah. you doing this to William? Are yeah. you doing that? If everybody always said that to me about, I'd feel yeah. like, I'd be like, what the f? Like, yeah. No matter what Kevin does, he appears to be the bad person. Yeah. Because William appears to be childlike. But again, it all boils down to appearances. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to stop. We need to stop it. We're stopping. It's done. Yeah. Over and cancelled. Yeah. If William brings it up one more time, I'll, like... I'll lay it down for him, but he just gets mad when I when I in say something. In the sense something. of like, you are making somebody that you care about in this house looks really bad, mm-hmm. and you're not doing it intentionally, but you're making him look bad. Yeah. Dylan has called him disgusting. Dimitri's called him disgusting. I have called him disgusting. You've called him disgusting. Mm-hmm. She's called him disgusting. Mm. Like, I honestly feel bad. Yeah. I feel really bad because he's not that kind of a person. Yeah. He's really not. Yeah. Like, in the sense that we know he's a liar. Everybody in this house is a liar. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, everyone lies. Everyone does this. Everyone does that. Because we don't know him, Mm -hmm. we can't read him, we think, we villainize him. Yeah, yeah. Very true. And we... (laughs) think we know William, we know how he is, he's this, but William is not, is the one who's not being honest with yeah. his own best friend in his house about his feelings about yeah. somebody. Kevin has been very honest. He's been like, he's wear his team Peely shirts, he has Peely's picture, he talks about her all the time. Everyone knows that's his best friend, everyone, like, everyone mm-hmm. knows. And I feel like he feels a lot of pressure when it comes to William because he will always look like the bad person. And that is not fair to have that much pressure mm-hmm. on one person when he should be here enjoying his experience as well. Yeah. And he's only one year older than him. Yeah. He's still young. Yeah. His mind is still young. Yeah. Definitely. You villainize people that like you don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. oh, I can't really read him. He has to be evil. He has to be shady. Mm-hmm. He has to be this. Every single person in this house is shady. Yeah. And evil and nice and yeah. kind. Yeah. And fiery. And every single person is everything. Yeah, is everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Do I feel like. Like, for me as a person, for me to grow as a person, like, yeah, I'm petty, and yeah, I'll do that. But beneath it, I try to understand people. Mm -hmm. I really try to. Like, Mm -hmm. I try to be, like, 
okay, take my feelings out of something for one second, or yeah. how I feel about someone for one second, yeah. and just look at something unbiased, and I'm able to do it. Mm. Yeah. Like we always say, dealing with the most genuine person in this house, dealing with the most real. I feel like Dimitri is the most genuine person in this house. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I feel like you're the most genuine person in this house. Mm. I don't think it's Dylan. I just keep it up because what I was going to say at this point, but he's not. Yeah. He's fake. Because if Dimitri was not genuine, he would not be hurt. If you were not genuine, yeah. you would not be hurt. Yeah. If you were not genuine, you would not be sitting here understanding this conversation right now. Mm. It takes a big person to under to see things for what they are and say, you know what, he's my friend, but I could see a different side. Yeah. It it takes an open mind. Yeah. I cannot villainize that boy anymore because you know what, he is young and he's impressionable. Kevin, he is also young, and he's here. He has a lot of pressure. His family's watching, mm-hmm. just as within family's watching. Mm-hmm. He had the pressure of being here from a returning player and trying to play a good game. Mm-hmm. It's a stressful environment mm-hmm. and, and that's his way of having fun. That's he is also only one year older. Yeah. Yeah. I do forget that he's young sometimes. He's young. Yeah. He is. He is young. Mm. He is. He's young. And not only is he young He's from a very sheltered family. A very, very sheltered family. They live their life a certain way. He has certain expectations. Yeah. And even if he doesn't believe in those things anymore, that's how he grew up. So he does have those qualities still mm-hmm. about him. Mm-hmm. Dimitri, all of his friends were married with kids. And like, it's just different. Yeah. 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 You know, I feel like I feel a little bit bad that I had a hand in making someone look bad because I don't think his intentions are bad. Mm-hmm. And I do think he's looking bad based on his appearance because we always talk about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in that relationship, based on only based mm-hmm. on his appearance, mm-hmm. we're vitalizing him. Yeah. Only that that is like that is eighty percent of it. Yeah. Eighty percent of it. Yeah. Yeah. If Kendrick yeah. and William looked the same, we wouldn't say anything. Yeah. We wouldn't say. We'd be like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get over it. Yeah. It's true. It's very true. If he brings it up again, I'm gonna lay like, yeah. like it. We always say you have certain advantages in this house based on your appearance. Yeah. And William has had the biggest advantage in this house based on his appearance. The biggest is nothing he does is ever wrong. Yeah, true. I stopped the whole Kevin kind of is using William thing because I started. I didn't. I was feeling mm-hmm. that way even last week. Like that in was all just, honesty, I wasn't. In all yeah, honesty, I, wasn't. I, I was still feeling that way even last week, but, which is why I feel bad. But I, I feel did bad. feel like maybe Kevin was the one pushing, whereas now I see it like. No, he's not. It's, it's William. William. Yes, it's not Kevin. Yeah. And you're right, if he says something like it's not comparable between Puli and whatever, he's it's being, not degrading. Being, he's being it's honest. honest. It's not yeah. degrading. He's yeah. being honest. Like, yeah. if William had said, oh, Kevin told me that, like, he's like, like, it's almost the same. 
we be like, what a lying user, yeah. cheater, da 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 using the poor boy. Yeah. Poor. We, every time we talked about William, we call him a boy. Yeah. Poor boy, gonna get his feeling hurt, this poor boy. Yeah. This poor boy. Every time, it's always this poor boy, this poor boy. He's only one year younger than Kevin. Yeah. So, when he leaves his house, he, you don't want to have a hand in people's perception. For sure, for sure. Because I'm telling you, when you leave this house, it's hard. Everything that you say is out there. Everything that you do is out there. It's all online, and these people online, on social media, they will hold on to one bad thing you said and make it your whole entire existence. Aika and Dre are racist. All they talk about is skin color and this and this and that. That's how these people, <laughs> that's how they are. Kevin is using poor William. You do not want him to leave this house and that's his legacy. Yeah. Because he's not. Yeah. That's how these people are. You were on the show, you used that boy. You do not want to have a hand in leading up and kind of like helping yeah, a perception I that's it, not yeah. true. I get it. I mean, I obviously had a hand in it, Anyone but what I can do off. is like. You want to come off anyway. You could say one thing, like one thing. Mm. And they'll be like, oh, this person, this, this person, that. You said this, you did that, you said this, you did that. Mm. You you did it, you, you knew what you were doing. Did it, but they, everybody knows what they're doing. Yeah. They did not put any 12-year-olds in this, in this house. Yeah. They did not. Yeah. So everybody knows what they're doing. Yeah. I cannot enable him anymore. And I cannot let you do it anymore. I can't. Yeah because it's not right. I feel like I owe Kevin an apology. That's exactly what I told William and he was like, no, why? And I was like, because... I do. I feel like me and you should sit down with Kevin and apologize mm -hmm. and be like, this is how I felt about you and mm -hmm. this is why it was hard for me to like you and I want to apologize because I forget the game. Mm -hmm on a personal level mm -hmm. because I don't want to have a hand in whatever trouble is going to come after this house mm -hmm. because there will be repercussions for everything that we do in this house and everything we say even if it's not aired a lot of people watch live feeds mm -hmm. and everything we say they're taking it in and if it appears that he's using him, using him and the whole house is saying it it looks like it's true mm -hmm. he's not I feel so bad because I've I told William bad. a couple of times, like, I want to apologize. I want to, because me, for a couple of weeks now, I've been over this he's no. using. I just I think like we need to. We owe, him a, we owe him an apology. I was like, oh, no, you don't know. Why? And I was like, because I am I thought these things about him, and it's not nice. No, we should. We have to. Yeah. Dylan came and apologized. It wasn't yeah. game. We have to apologize to him. Yeah. And we have to clear it up. Yeah. And be like... Because, Dre, this is put out there about someone, and this is his life. Yeah. After the show, even a year, I'm telling you, it's been three years, and people still bring up things I did in set in season two. Dre, it is... Please get over shit. But that's his life. Yeah. It's his life. Yeah. And it's not right. It's not right. Regardless if you like someone or not, when you realize that something is not right, you did something wrong, yeah. you need to own up to it and yeah. just apologize. and no game yeah person to person i i want to apologize to you you weren't aware that this was going on or that we're feeling this way mm -hmm. and i want to apologize to you because i don't want people on a personal okay i think what you don't understand is i know when we leave this house what is going to happen yeah yeah you don't yeah and i'm telling you you don't want you don't want to fuel a fire, mm -hmm. especially when you know it's not true. Mm -hmm. And by not seeing anything, it's still fueling it. Yeah, for sure. And by enabling, it's fueling it. For you sure. To fuel things in different ways. For sure. 
I feel really bad. Yeah. He's not a bad person. Yeah. Nobody's a bad person. Yeah. No, no one is. Nobody no one, is no a, one's bad a bad person. person. Yeah. Yeah. People do things for their game and will say they're a bad person, so yeah. they, we want them to go home. Yeah. They're this and they're that and they're this and they're that. Mm. But on a personal human level, he is not a bad person. For sure. And I agree with that 100%. Yeah. 100%. I feel like we owe him an apology. Yeah. We need to feel like we should take, as you said, can we just take two minutes out of the game and talk to Dylan? And I was just like, I don't Yeah. We need to take 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> out of the game. I don't think he's aware of things that are being said and mm -hmm. how bad he looks. And... How bad he looks, no, but things that are being said, yes, because William already talked to him about it, but that's a couple of weeks back. I'm talking about everybody in this house sees him as being disgusting. Uh -huh. Still? I swear, like, since like, at like, least like, two like weeks, six, I was done. Like, last week, I was like, I still think, like, I still thought in my head, mm -hmm. even last week, mm -hmm. that he's doing it for his image. I'm going to admit it. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I sincerely, I, I was done. Sincerely. Yeah. I... But I thought we talked about it and we were like, no, it's genuine. You were the no, one that... No, I, I, I feel like it's genuine in the sense of like... Like, he really cares. He cares yeah. and, and he doesn't want to look bad. Yeah. But I do think he cares and he doesn't care about looking bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I think know. that's where yeah. it was yeah. for me. Like, he cares and also cares about looking bad. Mm -hmm. Where I felt like he cared and he was not thinking about his image. Mm -hmm. Because saying, oh... He is only doing this for his image. He's scared about how he looked to Canada. Mm -hmm. It's just as bad yeah. as saying he's a user. Yeah, he's sure. It's just for as bad, sure. and I have been guilty of that. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely been guilty of saying that he's using William for a long time. I just feel like in a couple, maybe last two weeks, I haven't. Just because I was like, okay, he actually cares about him. It's done. It's over. But what I did, though, is that I did... Like victimize William more yes, than he should. Yes, yes, we be. have done it, and yeah. we cannot do it. Yeah. And I feel like we apologize to Kevin, yeah. and as William's friend, you're like William. Yeah, you definitely. are a grown man. Yeah, you are, and this person is being honest, yeah. and that's why I could say that I respect Kevin a little bit because of his honesty. Mm -hmm. He did not say, oh, it's the same. He said it's uncomfortable. Because it's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them. Yeah. I've seen him and that girl. And yeah. I'm telling you, I am telling you, this is not even 2%. Yeah. That is how strong him and Peely were. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see much of it. Yeah. But you could feel, like you could walk into a room and Feel Kevin's and Peely's connection. Like, mm. it was that present. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same. Yeah. No. It's, I'm sorry, it's not. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Not even, not even, and I'm telling you, Dre, close. So yeah. when, when the guy is saying it's not comparable, he's not lying, it's true. Yeah. It's true. You know what? Yesterday you came to me and you said this. You have and to. And I thought about it and like this is somebody's life. Stop. It's somebody's life. It really is. Yeah. It's somebody's life. Like if we did not say anything to Dylan and he carried on the way he was. Yeah. He was. If you know what I mean, like we say things all the time too that is probably not right and we think it's funny. Yeah. And it's not right, but we're like, oh, it's funny. Yeah. Why is it okay for us to say certain things and Dylan's not? Yeah. Why is it okay for them to feel a certain way and Kevin's not? Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. We can't just see things through our eyes. We've got to sure. see it for what it really is. We've said some things that we thought were funny that probably is not funny. Mm. Are we owning up to that? Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to own up to everything, but the thing is, if I think it's funny and you think it's offensive and, and I don't know that it's offensive, then... Then you don't know. Then I don't yeah. know. No. I can be ignorant too. It's not like no. we, we shouldn't be, but we shouldn't. But we, we can all we have, could all have ignorance. No, I know. 
No, I know, but I'm just saying, like... If it's offensive and no one is there to tell me it's offensive, I don't know that if it's offensive. Yeah, it's true. Because I make jokes all the time. Yeah, I have I friends know. that make jokes all the time. I know. And I think it's funny. I know. And I'm the worst person because I like jokes that are on the line. But when I feel offended, I do say, like, you do this say, is not yeah, okay. You do say, yeah, no, it's true. And if the person wants to bring something that I said that they laughed about and they thought that it was offensive, I would have been like, well, oh, you man. never told yeah, me it was I'm offensive. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, it's true. I apologize. It's just like how we went to do it. Yeah, obviously. We're, we're, we're not bad people. Like, we're, we have good intentions. No, we're we not do. here to try to make someone feel bad or hurt or no, whatever. I know. We're not. I know. I feel maybe in the in this house the difference that people maybe don't want to say to us if it has been offensive. I don't know. I'm not gonna jump yeah. on someone if it's if they tell I me know. what you said was offensive. I'll, I'll apologize. No, I know. I know. I feel like it's not about. I feel like this whole entire game, social experiment, it's a social experiment. Yeah. So there's a bunch of different people yeah. from all kinds of backgrounds. And they all look different. Mm. But I feel like when I broke it down in my head, it's not about skin color or background. <coughs> yeah. It's about your parents. And your parents will position you in this house. And your parents will also, it also, it, it, it's deceptive. Yeah. It's very deceptive. Definitely. Your parents is very, very definitely, deceptive. Definitely. Your parents, um, and that's what it, this house is about. Yeah. It's about, you have a bunch of different people from all walks of life, mm -hmm. and they all come into a house, mm -hmm. and we want to see if, based on your perception of who that person is, mm -hmm. who do you make into a villain? Mm -hmm. Who do you make into the innocent mm -hmm. one? Who do you make into the athletic one? Yeah. Who's the beautiful girl? Yeah. Who is the mom? Mm -hmm. Who is this? Mm -hmm. And it shows that society has corrupted us mm -hmm. because we came in here with society's perception of who we should be. For sure. And we have For sure. put it all on each other. Mm -hmm. All of it. William, the innocent child. Mm -hmm. Kevin is mature and smart mm -hmm. and is able to use people. I am... People see me as sassy, probably ghetto. Even if I don't live there, mm -hmm. that is my perception. Mm -hmm. That is your perception. Dimitri's a muscle head, mm -hmm. not smart. Mm -hmm. That is their perception. Mm -hmm. Karen is some mom and could say whatever she wants to say and gets away with it because that's She's what moms mom. do. Yeah, yeah. People don't see me as a mom. Yeah. They see me as some fiery, petty, ghetto, as Dylan would call me ratchet it's perception yeah and i'm not saying that every single person in this house sees me that way but one person does and it's perception mm -hmm. it's perception mm -hmm. yeah you know what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. you have um jackie girl next door cries you feel sore i could jackie could say something to me and because she has that image, people will say, oh, I feel bad for mm -hmm, her. Mm -hmm. She'll do something and walk around, I feel bad for her, mm -hmm. I feel bad for her. I am not someone you feel bad for. No. Kevin is not someone you feel bad for. Sure? William and Jackie are. Yeah. And there's you, educated, good family. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's a different, it's a different kind of yeah. blackness. Yeah. Roots. You know what I mean? Yeah. Intelligence. Yeah. It's a different kind of comfortable, confident, strong. Yeah. Weave this. Like, it's perception. Yeah, for sure. It's perception. For sure. And that perception, people take from society, and it still comes here. And the social experiment is, if you live in a house with these people, do you break that perception, mm -hmm. or do you still hold it? Mm -hmm. And, and this, is also, this is a social experiment, right? Mm -hmm. And it shows that we cannot break the mold that society has implanted in our heads mm -hmm. in this house. And but I've been saying that since the beginning because we are judgmental people. I don't care what the what everyone wants to say. I don't judge. We all judge. Yeah. And we judge based on appearance. That's exactly what you're saying. It's based on appearance. Yeah. And your judgment is your perception. You perceive it's it your this perception. way. So it but must can be you like come that. into a house 
where there's no television, there's no magazines, mm. there is nothing mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. but your mind and shake society's, shake society's perception. In the beginning, you can because you came in with that already. You were brought up, you grew up in the society in a certain environment. Just because you're put in a house doesn't mean that your brain is just going to no, but, forget. But what I'm saying is the social experiment yeah. is... To see if you can... Can we do that? Can yeah. we break that? Yeah. And form our own opinion yeah. based on who the person is and yeah. not what society has perceived them to be? Yeah. Can yeah. you do that? Yeah. And no, we can't. It's proven time and time again. Based on appearances, people go far. Based on how you think someone is, mm -hmm. people leave early. Mm -hmm. Based... These things are very accurate about mm -hmm. Big Brother because mm -hmm. it happens every single season that certain people go far yeah. and certain people don't. Yeah. Yeah. Dimitri will never be perceived as someone who's smart, as someone who's who's capable, mm -hmm. someone who's able to, because of perception. But he is so smart. Yeah. I am telling you, he is super smart. Mm hmm He's probably smarter than me. And at 25, I was never that smart. Yeah. But perception, st but your image and your own thing that you formed out in the real world about someone, mm -hmm. you can't even shake it to see it what, mm -hmm. it, what it, what it actually is. Because that will always come back. Yeah. Always come back. Yeah. Jackie, she's not sweet. She is not innocent. Mm hmm But... Because of your image of yeah. people who look like Jackie and who acts like Jackie out there, mm -hmm. you always want to revert back to, but she is nice. She is For sweet sure. when she's not. For sure. It's just things like mm -hmm. Ika. Oh, she, she'll she tell you off. She's this. She's that. She's this. She's that. But And people will not see the kind things that I do. They mm -hmm. will not see the nice things that I do because they want, they can't. It's They cannot. Yeah. It's all about perception. William. William is not innocent. Yeah, And he's no. not sweet. Mm. And he's not a child. Mm. But we make excuses for William because he appears that way. Yeah. Every single time. Kevin is not a villain. He's not shady. Mm. He's not a liar. But based on his appearance, mm -hmm. we will label him that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, yeah. why are we in a house with no social media, no television, nothing to influence our minds, and we are here, stripped of everything, and we still can't see people for who they are? Why? That is really sad. The thing is, it's not as easy as it seems in the sense that when you come in, you come in already with your judgmental self. You come in already with your perception of what in. ideas you have. You, then you, you stay can. in the house. You either decide to get to learn and, and grow with these people and, and learn about them and, 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 change to, your and change your mind. Or you decide to keep your the way that you see things and to not open your mind to the idea that the person can be different. But I feel like the majority of the time we stick with the I don't think so because when I came here first week maybe I saw Dimitri as yeah he's gonna be the muscular guy that's like not very smart and all that that was the first week until he was HOH and he I actually talked to him and I saw more than just the muscular kid but people still think I'm controlling him because they do they don't see him because they don't do not see him as that being that smart it's, it's not only that they do not see him is that maybe it's not going it's not only you the thing is I'm not saying it's his fault that's not what I'm saying but I'm saying if you don't put yourself in a position where you need to show or where you can show that you are intelligent educated and all that but he has but nobody still sees it. He has won three HOHs, and he's made those decisions all on his own. He has. I have 
the only influence I've had on his HOH was sitting down and talking about it. If your H if if on his HOH people in the house, Aika, and I'm I'm being honest, you're yeah. not gonna be honest. Yeah. People in the house see that the nominees or whoever are coming to talk to you and not to the HOH. But which if is I want HOH, people would talk to him also. But the thing I is, we don't have that because that didn't happen. So. So I understand what you're saying, but it is. But for the house, William that didn't happen. People wanted to talk to you as well. No, they didn't. They talked no, to William. No, they wanted to. Bruno wanted to talk to you. Cindy wanted to talk to you, and I told them don't because William won't like it. Yeah. But they wanted to talk to you. Yeah. They did. So if the, the this is the thing, if the house perception is that say I'm controlling William yes, and you're controlling yes. Dimitri, here take it off. Uh, and you're controlling Dimitri. It's not only something that we did. It's not only because of how we are perceived, but it's only. It's also because of how they, William and Dimitri, are perceived and their personality and how they exactly. position themselves. Exactly. Perception. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. not their fault that they are also perceived that way. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know what I'm trying to say. No, it's not. Like like. He. We have said, he is smart. He is capable. He, he's a businessman. Like, mm -hmm. he is a smart person. But I, you know him in a different way than the house knows him. Yeah. So your perception, obviously, is different than the house sees him. Just as much as I know that William is not innocent, but I can't go out there and be like, William is not that innocent. No one's going to hear me. Yeah. Just as much as when it was his HOH, he wanted to do his things. Yeah. And no one's going to believe that. Everyone's going to believe that on his HOH, I had it. something yeah. to do with it yeah. when I didn't. Yeah. So it's not only like it's not only us, it's also how they position themselves. And William is never I remember the first week he was telling I like Cassandra's treating me like a child, I don't like it. People in this house are treating me like a child, I don't like it. Did he ever voice his opinion and say, I don't like when people do that? No, he no. never did. No, he didn't. But what, so, I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is everything is all perception. Yeah. So if, like, it's not, I'm not saying, yeah, people do perceive us to be a certain way, yeah. but they also pre perceive them to them be a certain, to be certain way, way which sure. is why they will never give Dimitri the credit that he deserves mm -hmm. for winning his stuff, keeping safe, protecting people that he's been working with, because mm -hmm. they'll always see it as, well, I could probably was the one who did that. Mm -hmm. I could was probably the one who did this. Mm -hmm. I could was probably the one who did that. I'm not going to sit here and say that he never considered my opinion because when you're working with somebody, that's what yeah, you do. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. You know what I'm trying for to sure. say? That, that, is not, that does not make him any less smart. I mm -hmm. think that makes him smarter. Mm -hmm. But perception is he's a big muscle guy. He's from a small town. He doesn't really... That is just perception. It's mm -hmm. not... That's people's perception. And it shows that in week eight, people still have perceptions of society. Mm hmm even after living with people and getting to know them, they still see what society says. Well, that's the thing. I'm wondering if they actually get to know them. If, for example, like we all know that he's a smart guy because we had conversations with yeah. him and all that. Yeah. We all know that. But if, say, he has a conversation with, I don't know, William or, or Dylan, let's say, and it's only about cars and girls and whatever. Yeah, that's true. I see what you're saying. Then yeah, you can't no. blame anybody. Yeah. If I have a conversation about twerking all day, every day to Karen. That's all they'll see you as. That's all. Works. That's all. I'm just going to be a, the twerking girl. That's true. So there is perception, but there's also, there's also what you do. To fuel that to, perception. Exactly. Are you going with the current? Are you going with the flow? Are you trying to break it? Are you? Do you know how you're being perceived? Yeah. No, it's true. It's a lot of things, and that's why I'm saying, yes, Dimitri has proven time and time again that he can win comps. We know he's a comp beast. We know he's smart, but when he's a put in a position where he is HOH, I feel like the house didn't see him as being well because as because, being the one me making the decision. Maybe have been working together. He did see it as our HOH. Yeah. The same way if I want HOH, I would see it as our HOH. Yeah, the same thing as me. What, like yeah. I told you, if it, I wish that we could have an HOH and it would be our HOH yeah. and we can be something that's good for the group. Yeah, that's what... So, like, he was just doing something that he thought would benefit all of us. All of us, yeah. And yeah. It, it does not make him a weak player. It no. makes him... Like, like <coughs> I was going to say, it makes him... For sure. Like, if Sorry. It would yeah. be weird... If you look at it, like, 
me and him are close, it'd be weird if he'd won HOH and nobody asked me anything. Mm -hmm. It'd be weird if I won HOH and no one asked me anything. Mm -hmm. Because they know that maybe they might say something a little bit difficult. Yeah. They'd feel more comfortable talking to you and the matron. Yeah. They don't want to talk to you. You think they don't want to talk to me? Who wants to talk to me? Nobody. They think, oh, Ika a strong mind. She's stubborn. She's going to do this. Let me go see what Dre's doing. Yeah. Like, Dre, do you know what Ika's doing for her HOH? Do you know that it... Yeah. The only reason why Bruna did not talk to you and be friendly is because I'm like, um, William's not going to like that. Yeah. It's going to look worse. And Cindy, not going to like that. It's going to mm. look worse. I'm like, go talk to him. Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. But people wanted to. People wanted to talk to you. Yeah. They did. And even I, I'm always like, do you know what William's doing? Like, do you know what he's yeah. doing? Yeah. I ask you... But I feel like the other thing is that people know that, well, well, I know that William would tell me the truth and you know it as well. So if ever in a situation where, for example, right now you're on the blog, in a situation where you want to know what William is doing, I am, in all honesty, the best person to ask because I feel like if I asked William, he wouldn't, he wouldn't lie to me. No, I know. But you see, like, even me, I'll ask yeah. you. It doesn't mean you're controlling him. It means yeah. I just feel more comfortable asking you. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm trying this thing out to see what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like we owe Kevin an apology. For sure. We have to apologize to him. Yeah. I don't think he's aware of how he's being perceived. I don't. Because he in his heart he's genuine, so I don't think he thinks he's being perceived anyway. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. In his heart he feels like it's genuine. If I was being perceived a certain way and I didn't know, I don't want my friends to tell me. I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nobody in his house is that boy's friend. He has no friends except for William. And William is the one that's making him look bad. Unintentionally, of course. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean, Dre? Like, mm. I think it works, the orange thing. Because whenever I put it on without it, you can still see the black. And this is not even concealer. It's foundation. You said it doesn't work or it does work? I think work? it does. I have to just have to blend it in, probably. It's working, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should sit down and just be like time out of the game for one second. Yeah. Like. I need to shower. I need to shower too before I do this. I don't even know why I'm doing oh. this. I don't care. You're gonna remove all of everything? No, I'm leaving it. I don't care. Oh. I need foundation. And I need, I can want this foundation. And I don't have any more. That, that was a sample? Mm hmm. It was um, from the B E C C A. It's from this. Okay. And I mixed two colors. And I don't. I don't have any more. But it, go, it makes your skin look so freaking good. My other foundation's just not working. I think my skin changes so much in this house that one minute on foundation looks, you know what I mean? Yeah. And my neck is like not working. Uh, I'm gonna shower, I'm hungry. I know. I'm happy we had this talk. Yes, I'm too. glad. I'm glad because we need to be aware of two. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. We don't have to trust people in the game, but we can't affect people's life and maybe. For sure, for sure. That's why you have to apologize to Jackie afterwards. Who? You. She could. She could go. I would never apologize to that girl. I tried. You know she will need therapy after this, eh? I'm not even kidding. Make her, I want to know why. Cause don't I, say anything if it's going to be me. No, no, no. Because I have told Jackie exactly how I felt. And I've told, explained to her why I felt she was the way she was. Mm. And she has came to me and explained to me that she's not that way. 
and explained to me why I thought she was that way. And then the very next week, she did the exact same thing. Yeah. So that girl, I don't want any more explanations. I'm not making any more excuses for her. I'm not. But I feel like you're going to apologize. Huh? I feel like you're going to apologize. It's going to what? I feel like you're going to apologize. Who? You. Apologize for what? Not today. I'm not you, apologizing. You'll see. I promise you. You'll see. I promise don't you. Don't promise me something that you're not going to have. I will never apologize to that girl. Don't say things like that. I have apologized to her before. I have been like, you know what, Jackie, like, we didn't get along. You know, I apologize, Jackie. Bye. We'll see. We'll but see. Because when the show starts, I feel like I'm going to have a lot of apologies to give. No, I don't. Especially if ever. I've been real. I'm per- especially if it seemed like... I'm gonna apologize to Kevin now. And when the show starts, if ever I watch the show and I feel like I really trashed him, I'm gonna text him or call him or whatever and I'm gonna apologize. People again. do that though. Do what? They do that. They text and they go, oh shit, sorry. I, I will. I'm, I know I'm that type of person because if I watch the show and I see how bad it was, I am gonna apologize now, but if I see how bad it was, especially in the beginning of the show. Yeah, I feel bad. Listen, I, I, I did not have nice things to say in all no, honesty. Me so. either. I'm probably gonna text and be like, I'm sorry again. No, I know. And if ever you watch the show and you feel like you did someone's wrong, I do feel like you're gonna apologize. I'm not apologizing to Jackie. I'm not saying to Jackie, I'm just saying. Maybe to Jackie. Girl, but I'm not. I'm, I'm really not. Okay. I honestly, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm self-aware to a certain extent and I am self-aware that I'm not nice to people that I don't like, but I didn't, attack her out of nowhere. I might have done some things like step on the thing, but that's being funny. I never apologize. Yeah, that's nothing. That's, that's nothing. But I'm not apologizing for calling her stupid or whatever. I'm not, because I was angry and she tried me. And she was only- Did she try your girlfriend? She tried me. And if she doesn't, and, I'm, and after that she learned, she didn't come back again for anymore. So I refuse to apologize. She did. All these. I know. Oh. Look at how this fun is making my skin look. It looks good. It looks good. Like like I'm somebody's it child. Looks- <laughs> I'm somebody's child it today. It looks good. Look like I, you know, I'm like somebody loves me. I legit cannot wait. Like I love this experience. I love you, brother. But I cannot wait to go fix my freaking face because I look like shit right now. Uh, I am. I'm gonna. You know what? Maybe not okay with this. Maybe it's because I've been here before and I've left and I know. Now they ain't calling my ass back. I wanna, I wanna savor every single moment because I know when you leave here, you're gonna miss it. It's, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, for sure. And you can't ever visit this place ever again. You I'm can't. I'm not gonna miss my face looking like this though. I'm gonna savor every moment, but I'm, I'm just saying I am looking forward I'm miss to you, big brother. fixing my yeah, face. house. I will. I big brother, I will. I will always love you. You will always be my love. I missed it already. I haven't gone yet. Okay, don't start. For real, Dre, I'm telling you, it's hard. Why, how can you miss something that you are because enjoying I know right how now? Because I know how it feels like. I know that it's going to end, and I know what that ending feels like. I don't feel like it's going to end. <laughs> you don't think it's going to end? It's going to end. It's going to end. You stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about you don't think it's going to end. It's going to end. It's so funny because I would say that I would stay there. You stay there, like, like, like as, as in, like, as in, I know what you mean. 